This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. Every day is just one heartbeat away from a headline. This is Hidden Killers with Tony Bruschi, featuring retired FBI Special Agent Jennifer Coffin-Daffer. The fact that there are so many people that, that seem to be in this circle, were you all at all surprised that we didn't see others being taken down simultaneously with Diddy? Or is this part of the strategy? Just, okay, big ones down. Now let's let everybody incriminate themselves as they all kind of freak out. I think it's part of the strategy. First of all, I I think it was very important to them that once they had, and I know we say probable cause, but it's really not probable cause, Tony. It's beyond probable cause because no United States attorney is going to put their reputation and their career on the line to go with just PC, which is the minimal amount of proof needed. No, they want to know that their case is lock solid and that they believe the person did it legally beyond a reasonable doubt. That's truly the standard uh, that the prosecutors are looking at, Tony. So uh, I think that the minute they had that, they knew they had to get this guy off the street. I mean, they believe he's a flight risk and they believe he's a danger to the community. Let's talk about the associates uh, of Diddy. I mean, there are many, there's many celebrities that were very close with him, not here to accuse anybody of anything. And of course, Diddy is innocent until proven guilty. But uh, there was a lot of people that were in that circle, a lot of people that um, one may reasonably guess that may have had some knowledge of what was going on, maybe even participated in what was going on. And there's a palpable silence right now from about every single one of those people. What does that tell us? Well, I, I love how you said that. It is uh, such a deafening silence because... We're not hearing a word from a lot of people, and we know they discussed 50 witnesses. Just think of the spider web effect of that. How many different people that those that people then have information about? And, you know, we've all seen the photos. We know the celebrity. We know the political. We know all of these tentacles. And I've always said, in this case, Diddy will be in prison the rest of his natural life if he doesn't turn. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what all he might have on other people. I don't know what he was smart enough to compile. Mm -hmm. He videotaped everything, Tony. Yeah. So I think it's out there. I mean, is is he in a position to turn? I mean, he seems right now like he is the the big one. I, what, what? Who would he turn on? What would he be turning on to if he were to turn? Would it be just a, a mass conspiracy of many other people? Well, he's a huge fish. I agree with you. And yeah. I think others will also be prosecuted that are uh, lesser involved in the conspiracy than him. Again, if he's convicted, sure. right? I think it's him. And then all the co-conspirators that were involved. But are there any other people that maybe aren't above him per se, but that have huge uh, political and or stardom, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sensational type reach uh, that he may start pointing the finger at to get more leniency. I mean, you know, to maybe get 20 years as opposed to 60. Mm -hmm. And that's got to be a, a scary prospect for some people right now. Uh, are, are we talking... Uh, how how much do you think we're talking about just reputations being ruined because they they were around, they participated, but they really didn't have anything to do with the trafficking? They just were kind of there um, and they found themselves in the, the presence of what the hell he was doing. Or are we talking, you know, bigger figures, do you think, uh, bigger names that may have actually been a part of the the process itself uh, in, in like the Rico case itself of, of going across state lines and things of that nature and helping to facilitate uh, the trafficking of humans. Well, you have to look at who his closest associates have been over again. This is spanning since 2008. Mm -hmm. Tony, this is 16 years. Who were his girlfriends? Who were his closest, closest associates? What did they know? What did they maybe uh, you know, cover up. Uh, what did he aid? What did they possibly aid and abet with? Uh, did they harbor anything? There are a lot of different tentacles I could see going out with some pretty famous celebrities 
and public figures that it'll be interesting to see whether he spills any tea. First of all, I think it's way premature. There are a lot of hearings. There's, you know, evidence they're going to want to suppress. There's so much. I don't think he's going to come forward anytime soon. He's got billions. He is, or I should say, worth billions. He uh, has a an amazing attorney, you know, um, and he's got, there's a long way to go before the government seals this deal and he's convicted. Are you at all surprised that it goes back to just 2008? Because we've obviously heard accusations and things that go far deeper than 08, or are we just, obviously those are going to be a little bit harder to uncover. There's a lot more work to get to the the meat of some of those accusations and such. Are, do you think we're going to see more charges that reflect an earlier time period than 08 as this continues? I think it's very possible. Again, I truly believe that they wanted to put together the strongest case they could in the shortest period of time. And then they can also always expand on that. They can add other predicate offenses. They can add predicate offenses before this because their time clock is begins at the latest offense, not the earliest offense. And that's why people charge RICO. They want to dismantle statute of limitations, if you will, Mm -hmm. by showing it was continued criminal conduct. All right, true crime addicts, let's cut the crap. You're knee deep in the gory details of your favorite podcast when suddenly a commercial hits like a bad meal. Seriously? You deserve better. Upgrade to True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts, where you can binge without those annoying ads. Plus, get extended interviews that go deeper into the darkness and early access to episodes so you can be the first to know. It's like trading up from fast food to fine dining, but with more blood. So, go ahead. Search for True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts. Subscribe and feast on the good stuff.